Welcome everybody to the Ed Hoddle Show for week number 11, regular season finale. As the Mustangs go into the Lions Den purposely, as they go back to Wilkesbury for the second straight week as they'll take on MAC champion Kings. I'm here with Ed Hoddle. And Ed, your first trip to Wilkesbury this past week against Mr. Cordia. Big success, 56 points. Offense was clicking, defense scored. Talk a little bit about the game last week. Um, you know, guys played great. You know, we, we, you know, you could tell kind of in the, in the hotel having breakfast uh, Saturday morning, they were pretty dialed in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the mood was great. You know, guys were locked in and focused and, um, you know, ha handled the trip really, really well. You know, it's first overnight of the year, which is odd for us. Um, you know, in some respects, you know, obviously with, with Lycoming like and Wilkes leaving, yes. you know, normally we'd have more than, you know, we'd average three a year. So, you know, not having your first one till week 10 um, and having some, some youngsters on the bus, you always wonder what they're going to, you know, what they're going to come exactly. out of the hotel rooms like on Saturday morning. But guys did a great job. Game went well, executed the game plan. I thought, uh, I, you know, proud of what we did. Yeah, talk about offensively, we'll talk about Nair, who's, you know, didn't play the majority of the first part of the year, came back and had his best game probably on Saturday. Obviously, it's his senior year. Just talk a little bit about how, you know, he didn't play early on and now he's just progressed to this point. Sure. You, you know, he's, he's, it's the end of our season, but he's in midseason form. You know, he's, you can see the timing coming back week after week after week, and it, it doesn't surprise me in the least that he had that, that kind of game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, great dude, you know, really upset for him early in the year, you know, having to handle some adversity. Um, you know, but he, but he handled it like a champ and, and was great. And, you know, just a great guy to have on the sideline, great guy to have in the locker room, you know, just good guy all around. And you had all different weapons, obviously, the receivers with Dion and Dylan, and then you had, you know, Kirk Reed. Running the ball, scoring, you had, you know, it just talk about offensively the weapons you've had this year. You've had multiple people contribute in multiple games. Sure, and, and, and that's what we want. You know, that's what we strive to do. We want to spread the ball out, um, be multiple in what we do. You know, unfortunately, um, you know, if you sit and count, I mean, you, you got Louie, uh, Seth Parker, LJ, Ed Emmons, uh, Scavetta's had carries. I, I think you know we've you know we've had six or seven guys yes. have carries back there. Uh, you know, just it, it's just you, you see it sometimes in football where a position group's a little bit snake bit, and I think mm -hmm. our running back room is a little bit snake bit. Um, you know, Kurt's been healthy you know all year and done, done a great job. You know, so um, you know hats off to him. You know, the big day that he had. And obviously, defensive Darius scoring interception, return for a touchdown. You know, limiting Mr. Cordy on the ground. Talk a bit about the defensive contributions again. Like the offense, you've got a lot of people that have contributed defensively all year. Sure, you know, same thing. You know, guys in and out with injury, guys in and out, you know, just gaining experience literally every Saturday and getting better and better and better. And, you know, that's what we want. Um, you know, it bodes well for, for the upcoming week. It bodes well for next year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, I think we graduate 16 or 17, which isn't, you know, isn't a huge number. And, um, you know, today's problem is tomorrow's good fortune. Absolutely. And we'll talk a bit about Kings. Obviously, Kings have already clinched the, you know, the MAC crown. They've already clinched the AQ at this point. They're playing for seeding. Um, they came down here last year. It was a very, very close game. You know, Kings fumbled the ball, I think, like four or five times. Did still come away with the win. Uh, their quarterback's very good. Um, you know, what can we expect out of the Monarchs today? Uh, you know, I, 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 they're a good football team. They're a mature football team. Um, you know, I, I talked with, with Coach earlier in the week, and, you know, I think they've got 34, 35 seniors they're going to recognize this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you've got those kind of senior numbers and that kind of senior leadership in your locker room, you know, the results kind of speak for themselves. Experience is what wins championships. And, you know, they've done a nice job. They're sitting at, at, at 8 0 in the league. And, um, you know, they're physical. They, you know, up front, both sides of the ball, they're, they're big. They're physical. They do a nice job. I think, you know, running back's one of the best in the conference. Um, quarterback is certainly one of the best in the conference. They're just, you know, they're really good from top to bottom. And obviously, as we talked about last week, postseason still in play with the three Max Centennial Bowls. Obviously, ECAC is out there. Um, you've actually been on the other side of the fence where you've you've clinched the MAC title. You know, Kings, as like I said, still playing for seeding. Um, you guys are basically this is basically a playoff game for you mm. guys. So, um, you know, going into this game, what's the mindset of your of your guys? You know, you're playing the MAC champion. Um, is it is it knowing that? You know, maybe, and again, how Kings is going to react? Like they're they obviously are playing for seeding. Like you said, you were on that side of the fence when you clinched the MAC title. Um, 
what is the mindset for you guys going into this game? It's about us. You know, it, it's about us being the best football team that we can be on Saturday, and mm -hmm. and that's really what it's been all year. You, you know, we feel like that, that that when we play our best football, that we can play with anybody in the conference. We feel like we can play with anybody in the country, and um, you know, but that's the challenge. You know, we've got to be able to overcome the youth. We've got to be able to overcome the inexperience. We've got to be dialed in. We've got to be mentally prepared. Um, you know, so again, it, you know, it's about us and, and, and putting the best 60 minutes we can on film. And of course, it, if, the, if the Mustangs win, it's easy, breaks the tiebreaker, they go right in into the Max Centennial Bowl. If they lose, they're the tiebreakers. There are so many, I can't even figure them out. Hopefully we'll have them figured out by, you know, halfway through Saturday, but there is a chance for postseason play either way. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. All right, it is Stevenson and Kings. It's week number 11 here on the Ed Hoddle Show. Thanks for joining us, and go Stanks.